Here it comes, television's most exciting hour of fantastic prizes. The fabulous 60-minute prize is right. Cynthia Perea, come on down. Joyce Wells, come on. on the prize he's right. And now, here's the star of the prize he's right, Bob Barker. Oh, thank you. Welcome to the prize he's right. My goodness, a welcome like that. I am so overwhelmed, I have forgotten what I was going to say. Now, <laughs> let's see, I was going to say, welcome to The Price is Right. I was going to say, we're happy to have you with us today here in the studio. There was something else. Oh, I know. Here is the first item up for bids on our show. That's what I was going to say. A computer system. <laughs> The famous Radio Shack TRS-80 microcomputer system, bringing tomorrow's space-age technology into schools, homes, and business today from Radio Shack. And Scott, we want you to give us the first bid on that, if you will be so kind. I'm going to bid. What do you bid, Scott? $425. $425. Carol, let me have your bid. Six hundred dollars, Joyce. Um, five seventy-five. Five hundred and fifty. Five hundred and seventy-five or five fifty-five. Five seventy-five. Five seventy-five is what they had. I want to hear from Cynthia now. Four forty. Four hundred and forty dollars. The actual retail price is four hundred and ninety-nine dollars, and the winner is Cynthia. Cynthia is winner number one today. Cynthia, come right back here by me, if you will. Now, Cynthia, did you see what this sign said as you came by it here? Right up here? Golden Road. It's golden Road. And there's the Golden Road, right there. You're going to have a chance to walk the Golden Road, Cynthia. It all begins, what does it begin with today? It begins with some strawberry, is that jam or? Uh, preserves, Bob. Preserves. Strawberry preserves. The strawberry preserves could help you win that prize. A new compactor. A tough and trash compactor featuring simple safety key operation, the easy way to handle trash neat, handy, and easy to operate. It compresses trash to one quarter its normal volume from Tappan. Now, we would like very much to have you win that, and if you do win that, then we'll have the opportunity to go over to the next turn in the Golden Road, and there we have this prize. It's a secretary and mirror. This Italian reproduction of an antique piece is beautifully created of pearl wood and olive wood, topped by a stunning Florentine mirror, a decorator's frame for the entry hall or living room. Yes, a secretary and mirror. The secretary is in one of the drawers. <laughs> now, if you win that, we'll go to the end of the Golden Road, and there we always have a prize that is so nice that it is worth at least $10,000 in prize. $10,000? Yes. Even, even with inflation, 10000 is still a lot of bucks, right? Look at that prize! A new van! The Chevrolet Camp Van Trans 4 comes with all the standard equipment, 
plus power steering, power brakes, air conditioning, auxiliary gas tank, cruise control, power windows, heavy-duty shocks, and California emissions. Bob? The preserves are 82 cents. We'll take the price tag. If you will follow me, please, we will go down the golden road as far as the first prize. There are three numbers in the price of the first prize. Two of those numbers are... Seven and zero. The first number is a two or an eight. Which one is the right number and you win the prize? Two. It is a two. Is she right? She's right. She won that compact. We'll take that $270 price tag. Will you lead the way over there to the secretary and mirror, please? There are four numbers in the price of the secretary and mirror. Three of those numbers are... Well, you just won the secretary and mayor. $1,753. Now, will somebody check the next price tag, please? Let's go over there. I am sure that couldn't happen again. If it does... If it does, heads will roll. All right, now in this price, obviously, there are t five numbers. <laughs> Gave me a little scare there for a moment. That's $14,000. Listen, that is a $14,000 prize. Boy, oh boy. Now, the number you cannot see, there's a three and a two. The number you cannot see is a one, a seven, a five, or a three from the price tag for the secretary and mirror. Which one is not visible? If you're right, you win this prize. Five. The five, she believes, is the one that she cannot see. If that's a five, she's won a $14,000 prize. No, it's a one. It's a one, but now listen, you've done pretty well anyway, Cynthia. Thank and you. I hope you enjoy the prizes you did win. Bye-bye. Yeah. Some of these games are ours can get pretty easy sometimes, can't they? We hope to have another winner after these words. The name of our next player is Lovey Dash. Well, come on down. You're the next contestant on the Friday Red. Hello, Lovey. Is Lovey your real name or is that a nickname? You bet it is. It's real. It's real, huh? <laughs> I like the way you say that, too, Lovey. Yeah. Are you married or single? Single. You are. Yeah. You have a boyfriend? Well, a few. <laughs> have you? Is he here with you? No. Good. <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you in contestants' row, Lovey. I want you to see the next item up for bids, please. It's a handy upright freezer. The Amana Energy Saving Freezer, engineered to save money on your electric bills, completely free of frost. Each shelf forms its own fast freeze compartment for safe zero degree storage made only by Amana. Lovey, we're going to give you the first bid on that. $475. $475 is her bid. What's yours, Scott? Um. Five seventy-five. $575. $575. Just a moment, audience. Just a second here. Before we go any further, Scott, are you married or single? I'm single. <laughs> Lovey, how do you like sailors? I already have one that travels too much. You what? <laughs> What'd you say? I already have one that travels a lot. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, Carol. No, wait, what would you say, Scott? I, say I don't travel. Oh, you don't travel? <laughs> I'll see what he wins. Uh, <laughs> Carol, would you please trade places with Lovey? No, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. Carol, give me your bid. I bid four hundred. Four hundred dollars. Now, Joyce, I want your what bid. What was his bid? His bid was five seventy-five. Hers was four hundred, and Lovey's was four seventy-five. Five seventy-six. Five hundred and seventy-six dollars. The actual retail price is six hundred and twenty dollars. And Joyce, you did it. That one dollar. That's exactly what Joyce did to get up here on the stage to play our next pricing game, which is the bonus game. 
Joyce, that was good bidding, and I always like to see a contestant come through by using that noodle. Now, I want you to use that noodle and try to win the four prizes that we have concealed on this board. At the end of this game, we'll light up those four blue windows, and do you know what it says in one of those windows? Mm -mm. You don't have any idea? No. All right, the first part of the game is for you to figure out what do you think it says. Do you suppose it says Barker? Bonus. Bonus. That's what it says. Now, if you have won the prize beside the window in which it says bonus, then what do you suppose happens? I win it. You win what? That prize. What prize? That says bonus. That's right. You win the bonus prize. Right. Oh, okay. And do you know what the bonus prize is? No. Neither do I. Show us the bonus prize, please. It's a comfortable bedroom group with nice sound. The Namaco Industries Eclipse Collection, a sophisticated bedroom design, a Parkland Plaza bed, a fashionable, functional island sleeping and seating arrangement with matching night tables from Namaco Industries, and for a great night's sleep, this mattress set. There's a lifetime of sleeping pleasure with National Mattress Company Sleep Set, featuring long life plans, construction, and matching foundation for exceptional firmness and greater dimensional stability from Namaco Industries. This is a bonus worth $2,245. Yes, that is quite a bed, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful. That is a beautiful bed. Now, where do you live? New Orleans. Oh, you do? Uh -huh. What are you doing out here? Well, uh, we're combining business and pleasure. My husband's out here on business, and we're out on pleasure. Our, my, our, it's sort of our second honeymoon. Our children are in New Orleans, so it's, it's a lot of pleasure. <laughs> <How? laughs> yes, it's always a pleasure to meet a mother who cares so much for her children. <laughs> No, I know how it is. My brother and his wife, they have three children. And when they go on a vacation occasionally without them, why, the kids cry and go on. It's terrible, terrible. Yeah, no, I, well, they, they, they're able to relax a lot more. So I know what you mean. But tell me now, this is your second honeymoon. Mm -hmm. uh, when was the first? How long ago? Uh, 13, 14 years. Aha. Uh -huh. You're going to have one uh, every 14 years? I hope more often. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you came here on your honeymoon. Now, let me show you the first prize on our bonus game board. It is a vacuum. It is there. Listen. The newest Hoover convertible with almost 50% more cleaning power than models of just a few years ago. Another good reason why America trusts Hoover. That vacuum is not $100. Is the price higher or low? Higher. She believes it's higher. Is she right? Yes, indeed. The lady who's been married 14 years, she's going to know the price of a vacuum, that isn't one, she? Yeah. <laughs> you bet. Now, let's see what we have next. The food savers. That's what we have. John, please. Seal Amelia cooking. Airtight bags to go from freezer to hot water. No mess, no bother. Daisy Seal Amelia simplifies your life. Are the food savers higher or lower than $30? Or is the food saver higher? Lower. Lower? Let's see. You're right again. You're right again. And prize number three, shoes. John, please. From Kinney Shoes, a great selection of fashion footwear. Kinney stays in step with America. That's why Kinney is the great American shoe store. Look at those shoes and tell me, are they higher or lower than $27? Are they lower? You believe they are lower and they are lower? You are a winner, I will tell you. You have won all three prizes thus far. If you win this prize, we know you win that beautiful bed. It's a purifier, and John, tell us the story of the purifier. Will do, Bob. It's Good Air CA-90 Ecologizer Recirculating Air Cleaner. Removes smoke, odors, dust, and pollen. Keeps air fresher cleaner. It is not $26. Is it more or less? Higher or lower? Um, higher. She says higher. If she's right, she's a winner. She's right. She's a winner. And she had already won that because the bonus was right there. You got the bed. You got all these prizes, too. And I hope you and your husband have a wonderful second honeymoon. And I hope this business venture is successful out there. Bye-bye. We'll be back to play another pricing game. But right now, we're going to do this business ourselves. Next player. Bob, it's Laura Zambrano. Come on down. You're the next contestant on the crazy race. That is your spot, Laura. And that is the next item up for bids in our show. It's a comfy recliner. <laughs> Board yourself with this handle rocker recliner. Loose two tiered back, shelf arms, and T cushion seat. Action recliners by Lane. Laura, what do you bid on it? $475. $475 and lovey. Three and a quarter. She bids $325. Scott? What's been bid so far? Four seventy-five and three twenty-five. 
410. $410. Carol, let's hear from you. Did you say 475 already? 475, 325, 410. 476. 476. The actual retail price is 479, Carol. Oh, you almost won a $100 bonus for that. That was a good bid, right over here. That was a very, very good bid. Now, Carol, I'd love to have you win all these. A bar cart, a grandfather clock, a Franklin fireplace, and a set of luggage. First, Airways on call through luggage collection. Timeless casual elegance combined with strength and durability. A that of wheels for the ease of roll along luggage for the way you travel on call through by Airways. Second is a bar cart. From Carmel Plastics. Serve cocktails, buffet, or roll your TV or stereo on this sturdy bar cart made of Actolite and metal trim from Carmel Plastics. Next is a grandfather clock. A pearl grandfather clock featuring melodious Westminster chimes and precision German movement in a hand-finished hardwood cabinet. You can make your family happy with a perfect family gift, a grandfather clock by Pearl. And finally, a Franklin fireplace. This early American-style Franklin fireplace with energy-saving glass doors makes a beautiful addition to any decor made of solid cast iron by Atlanta Stoneworks. And there they are, Bob. Now, Carol, at risk of being accused of leading you astray, I am going to invite you to play poker. May we have the prices of those prizes out here? We don't use cards. We use the numbers and the prices of the prizes. You're trying to make a hand of five of a kind. That's the best possible hand. Nines are high. Zeros are low. Choose a prize and let's see what numbers you get in the prize. If you could get nines, it would be the best thing you could have. Give me the fireplace. The fireplace. How much is the fireplace, please? Well, you have a pair of zeros. That's all right. You have a pair of zeros. You're trying to make a better hand for yourself than you leave for the house, and then you'll win all four prizes. Now choose another prize. The clock. The clock. How much is the clock? The clock is $6.99, so you have two pairs. You have a pair of nines, and you have a pair of zeros. If you wish, you can keep those, or you can pass the nines and zeros to the house and make your hand from the luggage and the bar cart. Now, do you know how to play poker? Well, three of a kind, three of any kind, will beat two pairs. However, nines are high, so you're going to keep that. Okay, she's going to keep the two pairs. How much are the, is the luggage? 446. Now, if there's a four over here, you'll lose. How much is the bar cart? Yeah, oh, a full house. Three fours and a pair of zeros. Carol, thank you for thank playing you. poker. Bye bye. We'll be back to spin the big wheel and hopefully give away money after we show you this. Step up there, spin that wheel hard enough to go all the way around at least once. If it stops on $1, you win $1,000, and you get a bonus spin. You could win as much as $10,000 more. Contestant nearest to $1 without going over is in the showcase. 55 cents. Going to spin again? Don't go over a dollar total now. Go ahead. Spin it hard. Spin it hard. That's fine. Okay, it started on 55. It has gone all the way around, and... Oh, hurry up. you got to get off that. Oh, that's too much. Thank you, Carol. It's been fun to have you with us today. She almost took my microphone. Cynthia, spin that wheel. Cynthia has spun the wheel. Cynthia and I were talking during that commercial. She says she's seen these ladies who can't make the wheel go all the way around at least once. And she was going to do it, and she did. 60 cents. Now, is that enough? You want to spin again? Um, I can stay. Going to stay. Come on, Joyce. Here's our little honeymooner of 14 years of marriage. Second honeymoon. And she has to beat 60 cents to get into the showcase. She's going to do it with 70 cents, I do believe. You've done it. You don't want to spin anymore, do you? No. She's beating you, Cynthia. She's going to be in the showcase. And we're going to be back after we see this. Someone in our audience is shouting encouragement to lovely. It is not lovely, it's lovely. Oh, lovely, you were talking to Scott over here. One of your feminine admirers, Scott. Yes, yes. 
I was just pointing out that we've had only one winner out of three games, which is not up to our high standards here on The Price is Right. However, Scott has been worthless ever since Lovey came down in the contestant's row. He cannot concentrate. John, I want you to concentrate on the name of our next player. Will do, Bob. It's John Bergen. Come on down. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. John. <laughs> John, I when I first came out here, I sensed that this was a particularly friendly audience. But it is more friendly than I realized, because as John was going along that aisle, he was bending over like this, he's going along, and those ladies were patting the part of him <laughs> that, that was most the convenient. Yes. Stand up there, this lady right here. Do you know this gentleman? Uh, yes. Do you know him? You're waiting in line together. <laughs> Do you just pat any man who goes by you like that? <laughs> you like him. All right, we like him too. Hope you like this next item up for bids and the price is right. A new barbecue. <laughs> Regency, Amber Lake's finest gas grill makes outdoor cooking a year-round pleasure. Royal Smoke Rose Fry Barbecue Slow Cook, even bake a cake on the Regency Grill from Amber Light and to the winner of this barbecue goes the supply of lean hickory smoked sliced bacon from Raft. Gently smoked over genuine hickory fire is the most flavorful bacon from Raft. John, I want you to just plain bid on that. $239. $239. Laura? $299. $299. Lovey? $340. $340. Oh. And over to Scott. $341. It's worked for two other contestants. He hopes it will work for him. Actual retail price, $390. The winner is Scott. It did work for him. The winner is Scott. It has worked three times on today's show. That's one dollar. Scott. Yes, congratulations. This is Kim. I beg your pardon? This is Kim. This is my good luck charm. Oh, this is your this good is, luck charm? Yes, this is Kim. It's a little bit of a silver teddy bear. Mm -hmm. And I, it here. got you up on stage, and let's hope it will get you this prize. A terrarium coffee table. <laughs> For those who desire the unusual, this elegant terrarium made of glass, it even has a waterfall, perfect for the most elegant living room, a true decorator piece. Tom? Now, Scott, the price of that is $1,750 or $2,200. Stay right over here by me because our cameras are just wide enough to get us both in a picture of a certain size. And when you're over there, I think I'm left out and I want to be in this thing too. Now, which one of those is the right price? I'm about to go 1750 He says $1,750 is the right price. Will you hold this for just a moment, Diane, my child? The actual retail price of that prize is... Oh, one or two hundred. Too bad. Scott, thank, thank you for being you. on our show. Yes. Now, Diane, you sweet little thing, I know you have an important announcement to make. What is it? There's more prices rise coming up. She's right. Stay tuned to more pricing games and the fabulous showcase is coming up on the second half of The Price is Right. John, what's the next name on your list? Bob is Deborah Walker. Come on down. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. Welcome to The Price is Right, Deborah. Here comes the next item up for bids on that turntable. It's an oak icebox. <laughs> the Aaron Brothers Hot Box says that the Iceman doesn't come up for this reproduction of an old-fashioned oak and icebox. You can use it to store wines or put away all the clutter before the guests arrive from Aaron Brothers Hot Box. You know, you call that an old-fashioned icebox. Is that a sort of a kind of an antique type thing? Type, yes, you know? reproduction. Though. It worries me a little because I can remember my mother having one of those yeah. when I was a little boy, and they used to have the ice truck come by, you yeah. know, and deliver that. Yes, I can just... I think probably my grandmother told me about it, actually. <laughs> Deborah, what do you bid on that? 
five. Four hundred and twenty-five dollars. John? Six twenty-five. Six twenty-five. Laura? Four ninety-nine. Her bid is four hundred and ninety-nine. What is your bid, lovey? Six hundred. Six hundred dollars. You have all overbid. The lowest bid is four hundred and twenty-five dollars. Erase the bids, please, and now go lower than four hundred and twenty-five. Deborah? Three twenty-five. Three twenty-five. John? Three thirty. Three thirty. Laura? Two ninety-nine. Three hundred and eighty-nine dollars. Two hundred. Two hundred and ninety-nine dollars. I beg your pardon? $299. Two ninety nine, and I was trying to give you three eighty nine. I wasn't I I had one number out of three right. Lovey, what do you bid? I'll take three eighty. You say three eighty, and I say that the actual retail price is three hundred and fifty dollars, and I say John is our winner. John, get out here before that lady gets you again. You have done a good thing. It's good to see you, and it's good to see you up here, and it's good to be able to show you that prize. A new jukebox! <laughs> the disco jukebox, a magnificent photograph, features colorful panels and cascading lights. A 10-button play panel allows quick selection from 160 music titles, the disco. It's a prize package worth $2,495. Oh, that's a lot of money. I tell you now, you win that jukebox and that lady admirer of yours in the audience, and you can be discoing tonight, John. Now, who's doing the hurdles here for us today, Johnny Olson? It's uh, put a shower in your toilet bowl with new Be Fresh. Helps fight bowl ring build up and makes every flush a deodorizing shower. 85 cents is the price. He can get over a hurdle at which you choose a product that is less than 85 cents. What are the products at the first hurdle, Johnny? Wishbone Italian dressing, specially blended for fresh, irresistible Italian flavor. Wishbone Italian's got zing. Or Welch's sparkling grape soda, refreshing, lively, bubbly, and bouncy. You've never really tasted grape soda before until you've tried Welch's. Which one is less than 85 cents? The Welch's. Okay, I'll put the pennant there. John, what do we have at hurdle number two? We have Dentine six-pack chewing gum. While you're chewing, Dentine it freshens your breath as effectively as mouthwash. You can brush your breath with Dentine or King's Hawaiian Bread, the new taste sensation. Great for breakfast, lunch, crumps, or sandwiches. It's delicious toasted, available at supermarkets. King's Hawaiian Bread. Which one is less than 85 cents? The Dentine is what he wants marked, and it is marked. And now, the last hurdle has what? Chapstick Lip Balm, serious medicine to help heal and protect lips from sun, wind, and cold. Keep your lips smooth and soft with Chapstick Lip Balm. Or Listamint, no leading mouthwash works better. Keeps breath pressure longer. Why not switch to Listamint? It tastes as good as it works. Which one of those is less than 85 cents? Listamint. The Listamint. And I shall put this pennant there, and the audience is practically throwing things at John. We are ready for the race. Here's the starter's pistol. On your mark, get set. Off he goes, flying down the track. He must get over all three hurdles for you to win that jukebox. Will he get over the first hurdle? I have a feeling he will, don't you? I sure hope so. I hope so, but I have a feeling he will. I, I have confidence. He may. Now, I feel pretty good about this one, too. I feel pretty good about this one, too, even though it is coming up awfully fast. Yeah, look out! I know. Oh, he made it by a dot. Now, this one worries me, not because I know anything about it, but because of the audience's reaction. They hissed and booed when you chose that one. Did you notice that? Yes. I've had that happen without even choosing a product. They just hissed and booed when I came in. Look out! Look out! Look out! Oh! It's 99 cents. Too bad, John. Thank, Thank you for... Thank you very much for being on our show. We're going to come back here with a contestant out of that studio audience to play another prizey game after we have this message. We have a lady or a gentleman for this vacant spot in contestants' row. It's a lady, Bob, named Donna Petroka. Come on down. You're the next contestant on the prizey race. Donna is in the vacant spot in contestants' row, and here's the next item up for bids, and the price is right. New stereo components. A Zenith integrated stereo system with AM, FM radio, precision automatic record changer, both cassette and eight-track tape player recorders, plus Allegro tune port speakers from Zenith. Bid on it, Donna. Bid on it. 
400. $400 even. What for you, Laura? $3.20. $499. What do you think, lovey? $3.95. $395. And I want your bid, Deborah. $350. $350. One of you is exactly right. And for that reason, you win a $100 bonus. It is the contestant who bid $350. It is Deborah who is exactly right, and it is Deborah who gets to reach into the $100 pocket. There you go. Reach in there. Reach in there and get your $100 bill. There she goes into the $100 pocket, and there's her $100 prize. And I tell you what, now we are going to spin the wheel again. We're going to have our second showcase showdown in a moment. And we have a lot of beautiful prizes in the showcase today, but this is our last pricing game of the day. And I want to wind this up with a winner. And if we wind this up with a winner, you'll wind up with this. A new car! Sunbird Coupe, the small car, the sensible and sensational. Clean lines, newly designed grill on the right size for moving in city traffic from Pontiac. Comes equipped with door edge guards, window sill moldings, wheel opening moldings, and tilt steering wheel. Bob? Now, all you have to do is pick out the first two numbers in the price of the car. We'll find the front of the car behind them. And the last two numbers in the price of the car, we'll find the picture of the back of the car behind them. You do that, and you win the car. Now, if you choose any other pair of numbers, you will win that much money. We'll know because there'll be a dollar sign behind those numbers. Fill those four spaces first. That money is all you get. But you fill this and you fill this before you fill this, 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 and this, and you win the car plus any money there is over here. Deborah, what are the first two numbers or the last two numbers in the price of the car? 53. 53 sounds like a reasonable choice. No, that's $53. All right, now what? Fifty. Fifty sounds like a reasonable choice. And it is the front of the car. That car is five thousand and how many dollars? Five thousand and what? Ninety-six. Five thousand ninety-six. Does she own that car? No, but she has $96 more for a total of $149 thus far. Now what? 82. 82 right here is $82 more. You now have $231. Now this is your last chance. What's your last choice? <laughs> 31. 31. Oh, I wanted to win that car. I wanted to win that car. And she won it. She won a $5,031 car. And she got $231 in cash. And she left. She took my car. She took my money. And she split. We'll be back to the second showcase showdown after this. Things are going so well now that I'm standing here hoping I'll have a chance to give away $11,000. And I'll tell you how I can do it. First, a contestant will have to get $1 in one spin or a combination of two spins. Then I can give that contestant $1,000 and a bonus spin. If the wheel stops on this green section or this green section in the bonus spin, I'll have a chance to give that contestant an additional $5,000. But if that wheel stops on that $1 in that bonus spin, then I'll have a chance to give that contestant an additional $10,000 for that total of $11,000. And great is right, John. The contestants who have the opportunity of winning the $11,000 are Deborah, Scott, and John. Now, John, you step over there, and the contestant nearest to $1 without going over will be in our showcase today. Spin. After you see what you get in this first spin, you will decide whether you want to spin again or not, knowing that if you go over a dollar total, you're out of the game. Cents. I'll bet you're going to spin again, aren't you? There's not a number on that wheel that can hurt you except one dollar. 
Don't get a dollar and you are bound to improve that nickel. And he improved it by as much as 70 cents. 75 cents total. John takes his place right here. He is the leader of the moment. But here comes Scott. Spin that wheel, Scott. Got to be 75 cents to stay in this game. You know, you win $11,000, I'll bet Lovey would go out with you tonight. <laughs> she just might. 75 cents is what you have to beat, and did he do it with the 95 cents? He did. You're not gonna spin again, huh? No, he beat. Fooly to spin that wheel again. He doesn't want to touch it, but Debra does. Debra's ready to try to beat that 95 cents. Spin that wheel, Debra. Debra has to beat 95 cents to get into the showcase. This is her first spin. And it looks like she may have a second spin coming up. 50 cents, spin it again. Just get that 50 cents again and you win $1,000. Watch it. 50 cents and her first spin has to beat 95 cents to get into the showcase. 50 cents, no, it's a dollar and a quarter. Thank you for being with us today. Bye-bye. Scott, you done did it. Scott, you're going to be in our showcase today. You are indeed. Now, Scott, let's watch this. Yeah. Top winner in the showcase today is Joyce. The runner-up is Scott. Remember that if you are the winner and you are less than $100 away from the retail price of your own showcase, you win them both. Let's see that first showcase, please. Your showcase begins with these beautiful kitchen appliances. A Tappan electric kitchen, which includes the big side-by-side -side two-door refrigerator freezer and the practical work-saving built-in dishwasher, and the complete cooking center, featuring a full-size microwave oven at the top and a self-cleaning oven below by Tappan. And for our beautiful kitchen floor, there's 25 square yards of Contempora vinyl flooring from Congolium. Can be installed easily over virtually every existing floor without adhesives or staples. Eliminate costly installation problems. It's no wax, beautiful by Congolium. And after preparing those gourmet meals, you can serve them in your new dining room. A nine-piece French dining room from the Le Chateau collection by Broyhill. Features a rich cherry brown finish with cane back chairs to give years of elegant dining. And for an elegant table, this new china. Service for eight of spring gardens by American Royalty. A 47-piece set of exquisite ivory porcelain for beauty of design and quality. Spring Gardens, a product of Salad Master Corporation. And for after-dinner entertainment, this color TV. <laughs> Plays our slim, contemporary-looking 19-inch color TV with a new Dynabrite two-in-line picture tube. Sharpness and tone controls and automatic color control system from Quasar. And this showcase can be yours if the price is right. As the top bidder, Joyce, you may bid on that. I mean, as the top winner, you may bid on that, or you may pass it to Scott and wait for the second showcase. I'm going to pass. She's passed it to you, Scott. What do you bid on? I'll bid 5300 5300 $5,300. And that brings a wild uh, outburst of applause from our studio audience. It must be a pretty good bid. Joyce, look at your showcase. Your showcase features prizes used to salute those great entertainers, Laurel and Hardy. That famous comedy duo whose mistress habits have brought laughs to millions. In 1937, Laurel and Hardy starred in Way Out West. And Way Out West is where you'll find your first prize. It's a trip to a new grant. A first-class round-trip flying holiday for two by a Western Airlines spaceship from Los Angeles to Denver, Colorado. Enjoy warm hospitality and friendly service the Western way. You'll enjoy a six-night stay for two at a dude ranch nestled in the heart of the Rockies. You'll enjoy fine accommodations, delicious meals, and a friendly Western atmosphere. You can relax by the pool or ride fish and play tennis. Saps at Sea, made in 1940, features Stan and Ollie taking a holiday on... A new sailboat! <laughs> this is the Sun Tower by Snark. Carries two adults or four children, weighs only 45 pounds, easily transportable. The Sun Tower by Snark Products Incorporated. The hilarious film Music Box, a favorite for most Laurel and Hardy fans, features our heroes delivering your next prize. 
is a new piano. This gracefully designed Wurlitzer console piano is warmed by the rich glow of deep sable cherry, a beauty of form to match the beautiful Wurlitzer tone and performance. Laurel and Hardy play two street cleaners in the film, A Chump at Oxford, which takes place in... England! <laughs> we'll fly two of your round trip air coach from Los Angeles to England for a six night stay at the exclusive, prestigious London Hilton on Park Lane in fashionable Mayfair across from Hyde Park. While in London, you can see such events as the changing of the guard, the London Hilton. And our salute to Laurel and Hardy would be complete without mentioning Swiss Miss, in which Dan and Ollie portray two mousetrap salesmen in the country we're sending you to, and that's Switzerland! <laughs> From London, it's on the Basel, Switzerland, on the scenic Rhine River for a six-night stay at the deluxe Basel Hilton. Famous Swiss hospitality, plus fine accommodations and a heated indoor pool, minutes from the French countryside and black forest villages. Every luxury right in the heart of Basel at the Basel Hilton. And this showcase, a salute to those great entertainers, Laurel and Hardy, can be yours if the price is right. Joyce, this looks as if it might be the third honeymoon if you win it, huh? Fourth and fifth. Yes, and the fourth and the fifth. What do you bid on this showcase? $8,500. $8,500 is her bid on that showcase, and we're going to come back and check the retail prices of those showcases just as soon as we finish this. Scott, I got the impression that they positively liked this bid of yours, and I'm going to find out if you're really that close. You bid $5,300, and the actual retail price of your showcase is $5,859 for a difference of... $559. The audience was right. That is a good bid. That is indeed. Now, Joyce must be closer without going over to win her showcase. Her bid, $8,500. Joyce, the actual retail price of your showcase is $7,112. You've gone over. Scott wins. Yes, sir. Scott and Mutt are a winner. Joyce, again, I hope it's a wonderful second honeymoon for you. And would you like to go over there and meet those two over there? I love to see those flies. We're going over there as soon as I say, Bob Barker, say goodbye, everybody. This is Johnny Olsen speaking for The Price is Right. I'm Art Cookson, Bill Todman production. Please stay tuned for Search for Tomorrow, one half hour from now on most of these CBS stations.